Yoma, and I'm so excited to be here today. This is Harvestus International Christian Center, and I want to specially welcome you to our online kids service. Yay! Okay, I'm so happy that you could join us today, and I promise you we're going to have a great time. If you're joining us for the first time, this is for you. Hey! Welcome, welcome, welcome. So I want you to go and ask mommy or daddy to text new to the number on the screen. Yes, text new to the number on the screen. And you just might be the lucky winner of a gift from us today. Yes, don't you want that? I know you do. Okay, so before we go on, we have three things we need to do. I'm sure you already know what they are. So we're going to say together in three, two, one, go. Number one, I need you to go and call your brothers and your sisters if you're not already here. Number two, I need you to go and tell mommy and daddy to call your cousins and your friends so they can join us online. And number three, I need you to get your Bible and your reading materials if you don't already have them, okay? Are you going to do that? Very good. So I'm going to give you some time to do it and we'll be right back. to recite our memory verse. Are you ready? Are you sure? Can I hear you say yes? Let's do this. Okay. So our memory verse is gotten from Matthew 6 verse 33. And Matthew 6 verse 33 says, But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. Okay? Now I'm going to say it, and you're going to repeat after me. But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness and all these things will be given to you as well. Great job, kids. That's so good. Now we're going to make it even more exciting by adding some motions. So look closely because we're going to do it together, okay? So Matthew 6 verse 33 says, but seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. Did we get that? I'll do it again. Matthew 6 verse 33 says, But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. Now it's time for us to do it together. So get up on your feet. I need you on your feet for this. If you're holding your tabs or your writing materials, please put them down gently. Don't throw it on the floor, okay? So we're going to do this in three, two, one, go. Matthew 6 verse 33 says, But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. Great job, kids. I'm so proud of you. You did it very well. Okay. So before you sit down, it's not time to sit down, okay? We need to say a prayer. So I need you to take a good prayer posture that you're comfortable with. I need you to close your eyes. No peeking. Close it. Close your eyes and repeat these words after me, okay? Father, we are thankful to be your children. We are thankful for your love, for your protection, and your provision. Help us to look to you and not to our fears. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Shout a big amen. Amen. Great job, kids. Now we're going to be right back after this short break, okay? No, I won't be afraid. Hello, kids! Jump on your feet as we mind and dance to this song. Every day. 
glasses? Well, I wear these glasses to protect my eyes from dust and from UV rays from the sun. The fun part about it is I get to see images in different shades of colors. Doesn't that sound cool? And do you know something else that sounds even cooler? Hmm? Our brand new series starting from today is called Gago! Yes, you heard me. I said, Gago! Okay, so as children, I know that there are so many questions running through our minds, especially when we find ourselves in certain situations. Then you feel worried, sometimes you feel afraid, and maybe even anxious. And you may ask yourself, what next? Well, I have a solution for you. God has all the answers. Do you know that? Yes, I said it. God has all the answers to all your worries and problems. Anytime you're faced with any challenge, I want you to seek God's word so that you can see things differently 
you can do what is right and you can overcome yes kids goggle through reading the bible and spending time with god in prayer okay would you do that for me yes kids i know you would so keep your eyes on the screen <laughs> Good night, son. Love you. Good night, Dad. Hey, Dad? Yeah, bud? Maybe we could play catch sometime. Yeah, we should play catch sometime. Good night. Good night. Hey, Dad? Yes, son? We should go to a football game sometime. Yeah, we can go to a football game, but not tonight. You got school tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Hey, Dad? Yes? Remember that time we went to the pool? We should do that again sometime. Yeah, I remember the time we went to the pool. But again, son, you have school tomorrow. It's time to go to sleep. Good night. Love you. Hey, Dad? Oh, boy. What's up? You know what we've never done before? We should go to Disney World. <laughs> Disney World? Yeah, I would love to go to Disney World. But, son, what's going on? Are you okay? Yeah. No. No? Tell me what's going on. Just a little nervous. Nervous? What are you nervous about? I mean, what if the kids don't like me? What if I'm not able to make any friends? Now, come on. You know you're excellent at making friends. Everybody's going to love you. New people, you're great with new people. What's really going on? It's just all the new people, new classes, new teachers. Just seems like a lot. You're right, it is a lot. It's a lot to do something new and to go into a new place and, and meet new people. And it's normal to have fears or anxiety and, and be worried. But you know what we could do when we get in those situations? What? We can pray. All we have to do is go to the Lord. It says in the Bible that the Lord casts out all fears. We just have to go to Him. There's actually a really cool story in the Bible about a great king that was scared and nervous and had fears and anxieties just like you. You want to hear about it? Yeah, that'd be cool. Okay, well, it all starts in the land of Judah. While a great king is ruling, his name is Jehoshaphat. He was a good king and strengthened Judah and did what was right in the eyes of God. While he was a king and a great leader, and just like any of us, he still had days in his life where he faced fear, worry, and anxiety. He loved God and obeyed his commandments, and God was with him. Yet every once in a while, he would still get afraid. One day, messengers came to him with terrible news. The concerned messengers stood before the king and told him, armies from three kingdoms have joined together and declared war on you. This made him very afraid. King Jehoshaphat was terrified, and instead of nervously running from the problem, he went straight to God. He begged and asked God for guidance. He immediately called the entire nation together and told everyone to start praying and fasting. Overcome with fear, the people of all the towns of Judah gathered together in Jerusalem, seeking God's help. Jehoshaphat stood before the crowd at the Lord's temple and asked God, O oh Lord, God of our ancestors, you are powerful and mighty. No one can stand against you. He mentioned the great things that God had done for Israel before, and he asked him to stop the armies that were coming for them. With their eyes fixed on God, every man, woman, and child joined Jehoshaphat confidently in this prayer, knowing that God will listen and save them. Suddenly, 
the Spirit of God came upon a man named Jehaziel. He was standing in the midst of the crowd and boldly spoke, Listen, all you people of Judah and Jerusalem, listen, King Jehoshaphat. This is what the Lord says to you. Do not be afraid or discouraged, for the battle is not yours, but God's. He told them that tomorrow he would march out against the armies, but they would not need to fight, for God would be with them. Then King Jehoshaphat got on his knees and started worshiping God. Everyone followed the king's example and did the same thing, as they were reminded that God had not gone anywhere. He was with them all along. There was no reason to be worried, and God would save them by his unfailing love. Early the next morning, King Jehoshaphat and the army of Judah marched out to fight the surrounding enemy. The king encouraged his people, saying, Listen to me. Believe in the Lord your God, and you will be able to stand firm. But along the way, the king did something quite unexpected. He sent singers to lead his army, and they praised God, singing, Give thanks to the Lord. His faithful love endures forever. At that very moment, as God heard the songs of praise, he caused the enemy from the other kingdoms to start fighting against each other. So when King Jehoshaphat finally arrived with the army of Judah, he found the enemy defeated, and not a single one of them had escaped. King Jehoshaphat led a joyful parade of singers and soldiers back into Jerusalem as they praised and thanked God who had given them victory. In the most difficult of times, when the king did not know what to do, God demonstrated his unfailing love to Jehoshaphat. In that very moment, he learned that God's love is always with us and conquers every fear, doubt, and worry. So you see, son, just like Jehoshaphat took off his fears and his worries and his anxious thoughts to the Lord, we can do the exact same thing. We just have to give it to Jesus. Do you know how we give stuff to Jesus? No. We just pray a little simple prayer. It's just like me and you talking. You talk to Jesus. Do you want to do that? Yeah. All right, go ahead, bow your head, and just repeat after me this really simple prayer. Okay. Dear Lord. Dear Lord. I love you. I love you. I am scared of my new day tomorrow. I'm scared of my new day tomorrow. I'm scared of making new friends. I'm scared of making new friends. I'm scared of new teachers. I'm scared of new teachers. I'm scared of a new place. I'm scared of a new place. Lord, I give it all to you. Lord, I give it all to you. Please take my worries. Please take my worries. My fears. My fears. And my anxious thoughts. And my anxious thoughts. And be with me on my first day of school. And be with me on my first day of school. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Super easy, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And do you feel better? Yeah. So do I, because I know you're going to have the best day ever and that the Lord's going to be with you all day tomorrow on your first day of school. Now it's time for you to go to sleep. Good night. I love you. Good night. Did you notice that the boy in that story was worried about his first day at school? Just as King Jehoshaphat was worried about the vast army coming to attack Judah. But guess what? They both sought God. King Jehoshaphat prayed and God showed him what to do. Jehoshaphat became brave when he heard from God and he led Judah to battle. And God won the battle for them. And I'm sure that boy also had a good and worry-free day at school. I need you to take note of the following. Number one, God doesn't want you to be afraid or worried. Number two, his word has answers to all your worries and fears. Number three, Remember how he helped Jehoshaphat. This week, I need you to read 2 Chronicles 20, verse 1 to 30. Are you going to do that? Good kids. Yes, and number four is God will also help you too. Number five, God makes me brave. Let's 
shout it together. God makes me brave. Well done, kids. I've had such an amazing time with you today. I can't wait to see you next week. Bye, kids.